Oscar Onso, and great to have you on the show yet again this Sunday. It's the 15th day in the month of April, a very special day to a lot of people, especially to me, but find out at the end of the show. Today, we're going to be going into three different worlds. The first world is the journey of the Nigerian entrepreneur. How does he or she survive, and is it possible to actually achieve greatness outside the shores of this country? I have a guest who will tell us exactly how he achieved that. We're also going to be talking about flooding. This time last year, we had Keno's boats flooding, and there were a lot of, well, a lot of issues, but a lot of blame being passed around between the government, the state, and the people. We'll find out what the plans are this time around, considering that the floods are back again. And last but not the least is taking a look at social media and the life of celebrities, the lies and the truth. Where do we separate them, and how do we know who's the real deal? And who is fake and that's uh well that's the lineup for today great to have you on the show again my first guest is a man who will literally blow your socks off with his achievements what does he do he sells socks and his name is shagun abiono great to have you shagun yeah, thank you thank it you is so me. great to have you here and an honor to have you here and um, it's it's uh, i mean we've, we've been following your your journey for quite a while yeah. and uh, it's amazing that you've been able to move from is it the financial sector, a banker, yeah. um, into the entrepreneurial journey and in the space of how many years now? Yeah, four, years. four years. You've been able to establish yourself as, as uh, somebody that sells socks. <laughs> 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 how, how did all that come about? Mm, okay, uh, I think I, it's, it's, uh, it's been a fantastic journey, um, no doubt. But at the same time, I think um, there's one part of my life that people really don't know. Mm -hmm. And the fact that um, I, I study so, so hard in, in terms of uh, research. And um, for you to be able to create something out of nothing, you must be able to have a deep understanding of how things work, especially your environment. And I guess um, it's been quite interesting. It's funny you mention environment, because yeah. when people say environment, the Nigerian environment, the Nigerian mm -hmm. factor, uh, this is Nigeria, this environment seems to be quite unique or is it mm, yeah. different is it that yeah. different from any other environment it, it, it's, it's peculiar completely um i've been opportune to be um in the middle of um, top brand uh, ambassadors and at the same time um, top companies when you talk of executives um high level executive give us examples level. um okay uh, the three four weeks ago i was in uh in california i was at an e-tail conference and i was with uh, the uh, executives of Levi's, uh, the jeans okay, makers, okay. the jeans makers. I was with uh, Chubby's CEO, uh, top top uh, underwear company in the U.S. And so, so a lot of them, they they, 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 they seem to, or should I say, they seem not to understand the reason why some brands, with all the technicalities, we cannot fly. Mm. And um, basically, looking at my brand. The question was, how come, or how is it that we are not at that point where they will be referring to such brands? Because um, even just two or three days ago, I was online with um, a French professor who was privileged to know about the brand and wanted to know how we got to where we are today. And by the time he, he looked at uh, the techniques and, should I say, the strategies we used in executing our own you know, brand concept, uh, he was wild because as an Indian professor who understands what it means to grow in Nigeria, you understand, just like very similar environment in mm -hmm. India, um, he was very stunned to know that within the three, three and a half, four years, we've been able to get to this kind of height. Well, what's the, va I mean, when... When you Google up companies, they put, oh, it's valued at this, it's valued at that. Mm, mm. Um, is there value to, to your business now? Of course. Uh, we are even um, at a stage now where we're about to expand. That's one area. No, just give I, me a ballpark. I, I, what, is it like a million dollars? What's the, what's the worst of your company now? Yeah, we, we are close to a hundred million dollars. A hundred million dollars? Yeah. Now, as a Niger guy, you, you sit down, you, the first thing I calculated is how to spend $100 million. No, but your journey, your journey um, is, is not that different from the journey of a lot of entrepreneurs in Nigeria. So mm. I think my first question will be, can everybody be an entrepreneur? Everybody can not be an entrepreneur. Um, because um, entrepreneurs are made a different kind of people. Mm. The truth is, uh, entrepreneurs also have to go through a certain stage of experience mm. i used to be a banker like we said 
spent close to 14 years in the industry, from investment to stockbroking to normal banking, and um, with all the with all selling financial services and all the stuff. So all those things also have actually grounded me to a certain level, whereby at the moment everything I am doing seems to have you know, a background in terms of, okay, how do I do my finances? Mm. My audit has to be intact because we have a lot of uh, entrepreneurs in Nigeria. Um, they, they make a lot of noise, but they don't have books. Mm. They can't, you can't even, if you, if you dare take them back to looking into their books, then they are in big troubles. And the fact still remains that for me to be able to come up with a value, it shows that there is something actually reading every single day. I can tell you convincingly, say in the, in the first 18 to 20 months, we've done, we done close to $100,000. First 18 to I 20 mean, that, months. That's nice and intimidating, but I yeah. mean, somebody's watching you right now yeah. and they might not be selling stocks. It might be shirts, it mm. might be mm. um, food, whatever industry. Mm. Um, what is that what is that principle or habit that mm. has worked for you okay let, let me start with that what is that thing that you kept doing over the four years that has really worked for you and will work for any business you have to be consistent in what consistent in a strategy that you found that has worked another we have to start from a certain level by saying okay you have an idea mm. and especially in nigeria a lot of people have ideas exactly <laughs> but the problem has always been execution now, for me, I looked at the Nigerian environment. I was coming back from Barclays in England, and I felt, okay, Nigerian terrain, I understood it. Yes, I know there was a time I came in, I ran back. But at the same time, I, I kind of went back, mm. did my own little you know, research, put, put back my strategy, have a blueprint on how I'm going to approach the but, market. Sorry to cut you, but yeah. this research, I mean, I'm hearing you going outside the country, but there are a lot of people who do business in Alaba and Ikeja on yeah. that bridge.